we're just uh, getting ready to depart. We've got a good weather window and we're leaving the port of Coglin for Gibraltar. The uh, weather forecast we've been able to download using the Iridium Go system. And I'll just show you on here our latest forecast. And you can see here the weather pattern uh, the alternate routes that the predict wind has given us and from there we'll uh, we'll make our passage down to Gibraltar. The weather's looking fine for the first two, two and a half, three days. Uh, the wind then turns around a little bit on toward the nose so we'll go along the shoreline here of Spain as we head in toward Gibraltar. Forecast is about four days passage. This is our chart plotter we have inside. Um, we can bring up many uh, displays here, we've got battery, this is our power supply, so you've got solar input, your main battery, etc. Uh, we can read our fuel and water, but most importantly we go to charts and we can get our uh, navigation information up as well. So if we need to, we can navigate from in here. Yeah, so we're about to cast off. <laughs> Port Coghlan. It's 8.30 in the morning and it's a little grey overhead but otherwise a fine forecast for our departure. Uh, Louise is just pulling in some fenders as we make our way out of the port. Oh dear, there's ice on the deck. So that's how cold it's been. Uh, we had heavy rain and strong winds early last night and it's been calm from midnight. But just looking around as we depart, and it's quite a busy port, Coglin. It's uh, a lot of masts, popular sailing port. So here's our plotter, and it's showing our departure out of the port. And there's Saint Tropez over there. And across to our right is the famous Saint Tropez. This is our first night out. It's uh, now coming up to six o'clock in the evening. It's getting dark here pretty early. It's uh, early into the winter season here. Um, we're in uh, in the middle of a naval exercise here, so a little bit of excitement. <laughs> a speaking, lot of excitement. Speaking to the aircraft carrier to our right, over towards the French coast, we had uh, jet uh, jet aircraft buzzing us. The helicopter that came very very close. Yeah, so uh, we have two ships, or warships in front of us, apparently we've got to keep clear of those too. And they said to keep clear of a, a submarine. submarine. How the hell are you supposed to see where the submarine is? And on top of that, it's raining, we've got one reef in the main. Um, we're just being cautious overnight, we don't want to get caught out with any strong squalls. Uh, currently the wind is 14 degrees true and uh, we're getting a parrot of about 11 and running the boats moving along at around 8 knots. Beautiful one minute and then you end up like this. Oh, sunset. Here we are. Should be cocktail hour. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, that's the last thing I feel like when you're out to sea. Anyway, we're getting there. There we go, look at that beautiful setting sun. Beautiful. Well, oh, that feels better with the engines off, doesn't it? Sure does, yeah. The wind's gradually coming around. We're getting a favourable angle and we've got the sails up again, so Travelling a little more comfortably now. It certainly makes a difference, makes the ride more stable, doesn't it, once you've got the sails up? Sure does. And it's improved our arrival time too at our next waypoint, which is good. Excellent. Some 
unbelievably calm today. Just beautiful. Amazing though, in just uh, 24 hours, we go from really, really windy and choppy to this. Considering. Not quite as cosy, but it's still cosy up here compared to outside. If you look around to the right, Lou, and look at the um, all the plastic covered growth, all the vegetables and growing uh, tents they have here. Apparently, there are hundreds and hundreds of acres of these plastic. Uh, growing shelters and they have the uh, they supply all of Europe's winter well most of Europe's winter food their fresh fruit and veggies it just goes on and on and on all along the shoreline amazing our intention was to sail directly to Gibraltar but light winds became strong and when near Ibiza we received a gale warning with winds forecast to be up to 40 knots plus and directly on the nose so we then decided to pull into San Antonio for a rest. San Antonio is a port we have visited before during the summer months, but it looked like a different town without the crowds. It was still pretty, but totally deserted. Anyway, after a good rest and time to stretch our legs on land, we set out once again for Gibraltar. Beautifully calm here now tonight as we set out on our next leg. Looking forward to it. Absolutely beautiful. Here we go, we've just departed San Antonio and we're now headed out towards Denia, which is on the uh, coastline of Spain. Conditions are calm, it's middle of the night and we've got a 10 hour uh, leg now to get towards the coastline of Spain. And if Louise can show you the chart plotter here, we might be able to see where we're headed. Maybe not. I don't think that comes up, but uh, there we go. Anyway, yeah, all you can see is the um, reflection. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea, and uh, yeah, we're feeling refreshed after a good night's sleep. So um, off we go. Hey, how exciting is this? We're here. We're here. We're in Gibraltar. There it is, the rock itself. This is so exciting because Steve has been so patiently waiting for us. Yes, our good friend Steve, he uh, volunteered for this. He's just retired and he wants to start retirement with a bang. So uh, he's been waiting here for now up to 10 days because of the delay with weather and uh, the final commissioning. But here we are, we're about to go and refuel on our way in and spend a couple of nights in comfort at uh, La Linea Marina. His adventure has already started with uh, a couple of weeks in Gibraltar, but now his sailing adventure is going to start with us. 